All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is open up Google Chrome. We need to download a couple files for this. I'll leave links in the description for these files. We'll grab this one here first. Scroll down here and grab the cd.zip file. And then we also need to download Rufus to create the bootable USB drive. And we'll just grab Rufus Portable for this. And now that we got those two files, we'll open up File Explorer here. Grab those, go to Documents here. We're just going to make this a little easier. Go ahead and extract the zip file there. And then we were going to double click on the Rufus portable. And we've got our USB drive selected here. You want to make sure that's your USB drive. And then we're going to select the file that we just extracted. And open that. And then we're going to go ahead and click start. And you can go ahead and click OK on the warning. Perfect. We can close that. We can go ahead and eject our USB drive and then we will plug it into the PC with the forgotten password. Okay, so we have our USB plugged into the laptop. We're going to power it up and tap F2 to get into the BIOS. Once we're in the BIOS, we need to disable secure boot and enable legacy boot in order to boot from the USB. So in here, we'll move over to the boot tab. Scroll down, disable secure boot, and go ahead and enable legacy option ROM. It may be called something different on your machine. Then we're going to reboot and tap F12 to bring up the boot menu. And when the boot menu comes up, we're going to go ahead and choose the USB device to boot from. And go ahead and press enter again to boot. And now we're going to flip over to the virtual machine. All right, once we've got the password editor booted up, we're going to run through this real quick here. It's not too bad. It's about 10 steps. Um, the first three, we're just going to press enter. So we'll go ahead and press enter. It's going to load up some things here. We'll press enter one more time. And then we're going to also press enter the third time. And now here it's going to ask us to enter the user ID of the user that we want to reset the password for. So we'll go ahead and enter the user ID of the administrator account and we'll press enter. And now it's gonna ask us what we wanna to do to that account. So we're gonna press one to clear the password and make it blank. And then we're gonna press two to enable that account. And then we're gonna go ahead and type Q to quit, we're done. And we will go ahead and type in Q, press enter. And then we're gonna press Y here to write the changes. And now we're going to go ahead and press N and hit enter. And that is everything. We can go ahead and press control alt delete to reboot and the password will be reset. All right, we'll go ahead and choose the administrator user and it's going to go ahead and log us in with no password and we'll have full admin rights to the entire machine. If you have any questions or suggestions, go ahead and throw them down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.